guys, welcome to another episode of Detective Pro Tips. Uh, today we're filming part two of the uh, Vanquish series um, of detectors. So today we're going to have a look at the uh, Vanquish 340 and uh, the 540. Um, we're going to skip the 440 because it's almost identical to the 540, but we'll highlight some of the differences uh, as we go along. So we're going to go through some of the, the basics of using them and a couple of um, more advanced tips, I suppose, just to help you get a little bit more out of them. Um, so let's dive in and uh, get a crack on. Right. So starting off with the Vanquish 340, um, as you can see, the screen is extremely simple. Uh, there's very, very few settings involved with it. Um, and it is as simple as turning it on. We wait for the machine to boot up and do its auto noise tune. Once it's done the noise cancel, we can go detecting. Uh, we'll put it in coin mode for what we're going to do here. Um, but in this one you can see jewellery mode simply just opens it up a bit more and all metal lets everything come through. And that's real important because I'll show you how we can use that all metal mode to our advantage as we go. So now looking at the 540 and the 440, um, they're exactly the same display wise. The only difference is the 540 which we've got here has our Bluetooth button and also the backlight button up the top here. But other than that, all the controls are identical. So this one here to get set up, just a matter of switch it on, wait for it to go through its noise council procedure. We're gonna set our mode to coin mode, which we're already in, and go detecting. Um, we'll go for a pro tip straight up though, um, with regards to the machine sensitivity, which is this little icon here, and which is adjusted by this plus and minus in the middle. If we have our sensitivity turned right up, hopefully you can hear, we're getting a lot of chattering and chittering. And that's caused by the electronic substation we've got right next to us here. So running uh, our Vanquish at a full sensitivity is probably not a great idea here. So to set the sensitivity to the right level, we'll simply just come back on the sensitivity just until we stop getting the chattering whilst we're holding the machine still. So where we are there is pretty good because we're not getting any electronic noise and we're running the highest sensitivity possible. Um, so let's go for a bit of a detect. We'll see if we can find some targets and we'll maybe talk about some of the discrimination settings and toggle between things as we go. So. And again, like, if you're getting jumpy, jittery signals, bunging it all metal, see if it goes negative. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, what we might do is I might demonstrate how to pinpoint. So if Taylor can come around the back here. So a couple of ways to pinpoint. Once you hear your target, is just to stop to the side. As soon as the beep stops, stop. Press the pinpoint button in here and we're going to move side to side very slowly and stop when we get the target indicator lining up and then we're going to move back and forward and the target should be right in front of our shaft there. So we push the pinpoint button and see if we can locate it. So there it's lined up and if I come backwards a bit forward a bit so it should be right there in front of the shaft so I think it's right about here so it's really handy uh, to have one of these things to uh, profile or a pinpointer so we'll go straight for that just see if we can get it straight off the bat which we can't so it's a bit of a deep target this one so I've only got the uh, coin popper with us today, so I don't know how good we're going to be with recovering 
targets, but we'll try and do so reasonably neatly. So what I'm going to do here is cut a little bit of a, a line through the grass, big enough that I can just open it a little bit. Just enough that we can get our pin pointer in. And sure enough, had it or not, that might be my ring. Let me take my ring off everyone. Always take your jewellery off when you're detecting folks. Once again, it's a bit too deep, so we might leave this target mm. for a day when we've actually got a proper digging tools with us. Far out. This one's saying it's shallow. Okay. Merely steps away, we've got another signal here, folks. Saying it's much shallower this time, but it's a very, very solid number 20. So, cross, cross, back, forward, and right there. So it should be right about here. So I think this is either going to be a coin or a bottle cap. Right there. Let's get our coin popper. Oh, I think you got it. Ah, it's a root. Oops, not using it very well today. Oh, it's an art, hooking coins out. You've got to find it first. Let's decrease our sensitivity a bit. Uh, yep, right in the bottom. Actually, you can feel it there now. Let's see. Oh, that's uh, the phone ringing. Yep. I'm gonna get that one. It's a daylight helpline. Gold diggers, metal detectors. This is Corey speaking. Yeah, not bad in yourself. Yeah, no worries at all. Cheers. Just as I've hooked onto the target too. So, I'm pretty sure it's a coin or a key. I can feel it. Yeah, we found a few keys here, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, no. It's in a funny shape. Oh, Ooh. it's a hose. <laughs> hose nozzle. So what was that coming up as? That was coming up as 20 to 21. Mm. Wow. That's got a bit of age to it as well. Uh, when we started filming today, a fellow came up to us um, who's lived in the area for 60 odd years, uh, and he was telling us that um, his great, his grandfather bought most of the land around here, so this could potentially belong to yeah, his belong family to member. Yeah. There we go. We'll stick that in the, the fine bag. Continue. Council land, so. Yeah, yeah. Hey okay, guys, uh, we're detecting on the side of the road with the Vanquish 540. I just wanted to show an example of a real jumpy target. We can hear this is jumping around quite a lot. The target numbers are moving quite a lot. Um, let's see what happens when we put it in all metal mode. It's still jumping around, but we're getting minus numbers as well now. So that's a very clear indicator that we've got a iron target, which if we look, we have a beer bottle top. So using the uh, all metal mode on a jumpy target can actually reveal it to be an iron target uh, coming through as a good target. So it's a little tip for you. Five cent. Five cent. My uh, my bet is uh, 4x, maybe a VB. <laughs> Okay, 
Can you move uh, a little bit to the left so I can see the sun? V. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, you were half right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got a pretty solid sort of signal here. Could be a coin. But one thing we can do to try and eliminate rubbish that mimics a coin is when we pinpoint, if we go across the target very slowly, you'll notice that coins are very short and sharp in their response. But uh, cans or bits of trash, if they're quite large, give a, a, a wider response. So let's pinpoint it and go over it slowly. So it takes up a fairly big area. So that's sort of can size. I'd it? say that's probably more likely part of a can, mm. um, but quite a large bit, giving us the same sort of reading. Do you have a cook? So put two dollar coin down. See, it's a very, very short, sharp signal, and when we pinpoint it, even going over it very slow, it's there for a fraction, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a woo woo. So that's one really good way to eliminate trash that mimics coin sort of signals. Okay. So now we'll have a look at um, how the notch discrimination works on the 440 and 540. So in this little area we've got here, you can hear we've got quite a lot of targets. If I turn our volume up, you can hear we've got lots of different targets of all different sorts. And let's say we really only want to find our one and two dollar coins. Um, what we can do is we know that our one and two dollar coins come up between 20 to 22. So we can actually notch out all of these little blocks here up until 20 to 22. So to do that, we press our accept reject button and then move the cursor over and press that, over and press that, over and press that. And we keep going till we get to our 20, 21, 22 sort of numbers. And we'll block the rest of it out. Everything. We're just looking for the points. Yep, we're just looking for one and twos. So, now when we detect that same spot, the machine's totally quiet. 19. 23 we're getting. But it's a bit scratchy. So if I put it in all metal, we can see we're getting numbers that are jumping everywhere. 18 to 20, 22. You can see now that the whole area is very, very quiet. And if I get our two dollar coin again, just with me. Right, that's our 10 cent. One dollar coin. So we'll check our one dollar coin down. It's a big obvious noise. Um, we can program any of the search modes to do that. Okay. And in fact, we've got, if we press our mode button down the bottom, we probably really should have set up the user mode to do that. <laughs> yeah. Because now I'll have to go and open everything back up for coin mode. Now but your coin mode is set up just to look for yeah, one and two Yeah, my coin coins. mode is now set up just for one and two dollar coins and nothing else. Here we go guys, this one here, pretty confident that could be a, a coin. Feel it. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Let's get down under it. There'd you go. Having a lot of 
trouble getting this one out. The finger. Where did you go? Oh, there it is, right there. Missed it. Look at that. One dollar. From 2010. Vanquish and Equinox have a tendency to not react to rebar terribly well or when they do it produces a distinct tone from a one or two dollar coin. So we can set our Vanquish or Equinox up just like this and walk along the sidewalk where nobody else can take. Fire right here. Depth indicator? Shallow. Shallow. All right. 20, 21. Oh, it's back here. Can't feel it. Real, real cruddy job of this, folks. <laughs> It's always the way, it's never uh -huh. just a nice clean target when you pull it. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. That's an old two dollar. Where are we? What year? 2006. Oh, there you go. Marvellous. We can uh, get a can from the Korean shop on the way back. <laughs> right, no. Sounds more like a coin. Mm. And oh. voila, dollar coin. Well done. What year? Where are we? 1984, my birth year. Oh, keep that one then. Oh, yeah, for sure. Have a look. So <laughs> obviously it. nobody's really detected this area if there's still one and twos from the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's real though. No, wouldn't be. Uh, have a look. I don't know, it could be. It's got the right sort of patina for silver. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, it's a broken ring. That's cool. Sidewalk finds. Yeah. Your body getting popped. So that's what six, seven dollars. Yeah. 
Uh, here's a shot, remember guys? Yep. Daylight Helpline, I can actually point to it. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this episode of Detective Pro Tips. Um, tune in, we'll be adding some more content as we go. Uh, I'm Corey and we got Taylor behind the camera. Hey thanks guys. for watching. See ya.